What's going on, Graveyard Shift family? What's up, family? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? I'm gonna give everybody time to get on up in here. I'm gonna give y'all time to get in where you fit in. What's up, everybody? Graveyard Shift family. I know y'all thought I wasn't gonna come back with one, but I'm back with another one. What's up, DD? What up, Patrick? Michael, I mean, Michelle, Betsy, Tammy. What's up, everybody? What's up, Pat? Y'all, I told y'all we was gonna do another uh, cemetery exploration video today. I just got to my destination. I'm gonna let a couple more people get in here, y'all, then we're gonna get started. What's up, everybody? Love, love. I need a haircut. What's up, everybody? What's up, y'all? Man, I missed y'all today. I thought about y'all all yesterday. I was like, I wonder what my graveyard shift family doing, man. Bruno, be careful out there in ATL for the weekend, my boy. Be safe. Y'all. All right, y'all. We're going to get started. So... Y'all, I had the bright idea <laughs> for me and my wife to do something different this weekend. So I saw that in Nashville, there was the professional bull riding championships. <laughs> me and my wife know nothing about bull riding, guys. But guess where we are? <laughs> we are in Nashville <laughs> at the PBR. <laughs> In some kind of way, I convinced a couple of my friends to come with me. So, y'all, yeah, we're out here for the weekend. Tomorrow, we're going to be watching some bull riding. Some professional bull riding. <laughs> but I'm here in Tennessee, and I had to come back to our old, our old faithful, our old faithful Tennessean home, Mount Olivier. Y'all, man, thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all already. This cemetery is probably one of the most beautiful cemeteries I've ever been to, y'all. They have some of the most beautiful headstones. So I'm going to spend about 30 minutes of us just walking around and just checking out some of these headstones. I hope y'all enjoy it. And, uh, yeah. Christina, your cousin competing? Tell your cousin Dalen said he going to be in the audience. Y'all, look at these headstones. Y'all, there's so many places for us to go over here. I'm just going to walk. And y'all just talk to me. Tell me what y'all want to look at. Look at this headstone. Tell me this isn't amazing over here. The architecture of some of these headstones. Today is all about us looking at, uh, you know what I'm saying? Just headstones and admiring the beauty of this old, old resting community. Look how cool this headstone is. It has a cross with the anchor. Wow, that's kind of cool. I hate that you can't really read the uh, engraving on it. It's a headstone. This is a headstone and this is the Davis headstone inside of Mount Olivier Cemetery in Nashville, Tennessee. That's actually very, very beautiful. That's cool. What'd you say? Yeah, I would love to come to Wisconsin. Y'all, don't worry. We are gonna do a lot more traveling. A lot more traveling. Look at this headstone. With this, you see the bird just <laughs> landed on top of the finger. Sheesh. Like, I wonder how much money did you have to have? Like this, look at this. This is Alexander J. Porter Jr. He died in 1949. And I guess Minnie Bond, this is a, two people. And this is their entire monument. Robin, what's up, CAU? 
You know what? I've never been to Canada, y'all. I've never been to Canada. That's one place I've never been. I would love to. Canada, America's hat. <laughs> but no, uh, I would love to come to Canada. Oh, wow. James A. Porter, born September 23rd, 1800. Passed away March 23rd, 1853. He was 53. Amanda was almost 80. Robin, appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Look at... Oh, wow. Wow. How much y'all think something like that costs? Buddy had this in 1853. How much something like this go for in 1853? Y'all, look at this one. You see how tall this one is? Look at that one. With an angel on top with wings. Lisa, Lisa, thank you, Lisa. All right, y'all, we gonna walk. It's so much stuff for us to look at over here. There's so much. Thank y'all, thank you, thank you, thank you. There's so much. Y'all, this, this is like, I don't even know how to speak in acreage. <laughs> but it's a whole lot of acreage. It's a whole lot of resting spirits out here, man. If you ever get out to Nashville and you have time and you want to come visit some resting souls, please look at this. Please come visit Mount Olivier. The staff here is nice. The residents are nice. Happy birthday. Somebody birthday. Happy birthday. All right, hold on y'all. Here we go. Let's see. Let me come around this little corner. Yeah, me and Mark did come to this cemetery. We did a couple episodes here, but I never really got to explore it the way that I wanted to. Like, let's go look at this mausoleum over here. I didn't get to explore it Anita, thank you, Anita, you're amazing. Y'all, so for everyone that's just tuning in, we're not doing a spirit box session, y'all. These next two days, I'm out of town. So I'm just doing graveyard walks, and we're just gonna tour some cemeteries out here while I'm away. But I'll be back Sunday, y'all. And Monday, we right back with, with graveyard shifts. We are gonna be right back to it back like we never left this is a family vault jacob mcgavick 1863 oh, you can't even see in there yeah you can't even see. Jacob McGavick. Oh, wow. He was born in 1790. And passed away in 1878. I don't think we found anyone born before 1790. This might be the oldest site that we've uh, bumped into. Happy birthday, Crystal. The sun is in my eyes, y'all, so I can't really see the comments right now. <laughs> I don't know. I always find that the, the graves that are resting underneath trees, I don't know. They give off, they give off energy. <laughs> they give off a different energy. Look at, look at all this life. the Henry Brown family underneath these big trees
Oh yeah, I'm sure there's older graves everywhere. That's why I want to get up north. Oh wow, look at this. Buddy got his face on a quarter. <laughs> That's cool. In loving memory of my husband, he was one of God's chosen noble men. He never compromised principles nor sacrifice honor. He was distinguished for, uh, what word is that? Oh, I can read it better with it. No, I can't. He's distinguished, distinguished, oh, with knightly bearing and unbounding charity, which was without ostentation or calcul, what? Say, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. That that headstone got some SAT words on it, boy. <laughs> hey, that thing got some SAT words on it. But I would say he must have been a really good gentleman. He must have been somebody. Y'all make sure y'all hit the like button, y'all. That's a pretty statue. Somebody said it's too educated for them. <laughs> What's up, Brenda? Y'all, that was that was a lot of wording to go on there, y'all. Hey, I ain't even mad at it. They must have had a, they had a, oh my gosh. Here's the second paragraph. <laughs> Here's the second paragraph, family. Heavenly hope with radiant finger points to thy eternal home and it's y'all can't something see thee linger looking back or met to come or oh, looking back for me to come y'all 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 I felt like I was standing at the front of the classroom trying to read that excerpt <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let's see, let's see, let's see. Is there more? This is Henry Calloway Brown. That's cool. Oh, 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 oh. Y'all thought it was only writing on three sides. Y'all thought it was writing just on three sides. There's not an hour of day or dreamy night but um there y'all it's a lot y'all <laughs> <Say. laughs> i love it i love it i just find it to be funny that that's yeah hey man when it's my time i want all of that i want my whole resume i want my resume on my headstone I want the time that the, the three months I worked at Yahoo. <laughs> I want that on there. <laughs> I want the pizza place I got fired from on there. Put my whole resume on my resting stone, y'all. Oh wow, this is beautiful. Look at this. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everyone that's donated. Y'all are the best. Y'all are the best. Oh, this is cool. Say, look, if somebody put ostentatious on their headstone, <laughs> they about their business. Y'all. Y'all, apparently back in the day, they didn't play around when it came to stuff like writing inscriptions on headstone. But think about like how, like, how long it probably took to make it. Like, okay, somebody passes away, right? Somebody passes away. Like, how long does it take to, like, erect something like this? To erect it and, and inscribe it? Like, how long does that take? That's wild. Oh, look at the face on this angel.
that's cool. Oh, wow. Thank y'all so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love this resting community. Like, look at this one. Look at this. I don't even know what that is. That looks like a, a, a bundle of logs. <laughs> it's funny. I was riding up here with, with Stacy and a couple of our really good friends. And one of my friends, her name is Chelsea. And I've been knowing her since I was five. Like literally, this is my oldest friend in life. So her and her husband are with us. And she was like, what are you gonna do when we get to Nashville, Daylin? I was like, well, as soon as I get there, I'm gonna go to a cemetery and go live. And she was like, people really wanna watch you walking through a cemetery? <laughs> I was like, look, Chelsea, you might've been knowing me since I was five. <laughs> but people actually like me, Chelsea. <laughs> but yeah, she just found it so amazing that like, yeah that people find interest in taking cemetery tours. I was like, yeah, man, it's cool. <laughs> so yeah, thank y'all for making me look good in front of my friends, y'all. Basically more of the story. Wow, this person was born August the 11th, 1811. Passed away December 24th, 1880. And it's with Nancy she was born in 1813 and passed away in 1869. Uh-oh, is Stacy in here? My wife done showed up. Y'all don't be telling her hi, cause she, let me tell you. Y'all think Stacy in here trying to be supportive. Stacy in here trying to clock me. <laughs> she trying to clock my whereabouts. <laughs> don't let Stacy fool y'all, man. <laughs> I told her, I told her I was going downstairs at <laughs> <of> the hotel. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> I forgot that you got your notification set on too, huh, Stacy? <laughs> Don't worry, babe, I'm in the lobby. I'm in the lobby, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna be right back. <laughs> Y'all done got me in trouble. Y'all done got me in trouble. Y'all done got me in trouble. Right. I came downstairs to get the ice like you asked, Stacy. <laughs> I got lost. <laughs> you mean to tell me this ain't the lobby? <laughs> I'm on the wrong floor? Golly. Look, y'all. Look at Chelsea Little. Chelsea's in here, y'all. Everybody say hi to Chelsea. That's my oldest friend. <laughs> uh, all my friends are here. Y'all feel like this is a family reunion. Look at this big pillar. You would think that's like, what's it, like the Washington Monument? Y'all, Axel is at Axel is with her family, <laughs> minding her business, <laughs> relaxing away from her mama and dad. Y'all, I love how y'all treat my, my wife and my friends like like y'all like family. That's cool. Thank y'all for thank y'all for being the best extended family that I could ask for. This is the Bird Douglas Monument, y'all. Look how tall that is. Born in Loudoun County, Virginia in 1815. He died in 1882. Eighteen eighty-two. They built this in the eighteen hundreds. That's that's intense. Right, right. Who made all these monuments? Say, whoever Teddy that ran the uh, the monument building office in the late eighteen hundreds. Teddy was paid. Teddy was paid. He had to be paid. 
You can't tell me Teddy didn't make all of these. Teddy had a monopoly on headstones in the late 1800s. Helen, Helen, love you, Helen. Say, headstones was big business back in the 1800s. Yeah, Kristen, they snitched on me, Kristen. They snitched on me. They done snitched on you, boy. Now I'm going to go in the room. Stacy going to be looking at me crazy. <laughs> yeah, the money was definitely in building the headstones. Got to be. Got to be. Because look at all. Look, y'all, they're everywhere. They are everywhere. Y'all, we need to go back to that day and ages of these type of headstones. You don't think? What y'all think? Would y'all want something? Like if they were reasonably... Oh, <gasps> yo, I forgot. This is where dude was. Y'all remember the pyramid? Y'all remember the pyramid? Where we got the bad feeling last time? That's it over there. That's it over there. So y'all, my question was... My question was, if headstones like these were reasonably priced like they was they was running a bogo a buy one get one would you want something this big or would y'all want something you know modest something low key what would you go for oh don't worry I'm finna walk over there y'all I'm just taking a long way I'm taking a long way taking a long way like look at this like this is a, like a cathedral William Peters Bryant would you my man got Jesus on his say man they sculpted Jesus with his pick out Brent will appreciate it appreciate it do you know how much effort you got they gave Jesus pick muscles That's wild. That's wild. That's beautiful. The effort into that is crazy. 1868. What's today? What's today? Today's the what? Today the 18th or the 19th? If today's the 18th, it's his birthday. Is today the 18th? I can't. Hold on, y'all. I don't know what today is. Today is the 18th. It's his birthday. William. William Peters Bryan. Today is your birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. We stumbled upon somebody's birthday. Everybody, it's the weekend. You got to take a, take a shot of water for William. Take a shot of juice milk anything non-alcoholic take a drink for William that's cool that's random happy birthday William all right uh, somebody said I got a glass of wine forget that water <laughs> hey man listen we just promoting you know Everybody don't got to sip like that. So we, whatever you sip, water, juice, Gatorade, whatever. Just take a sip for William. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Somebody said that's too much. Okay, we're back. We're back to the grave that sits on top of the hill. Somebody said bad mojo time. Nah, Jojo, don't put that on me, Jojo. <laughs> Here's the pyramid right here. All right, y'all. Remember last time we was here, we start feeling away. 
Somebody said the pyramid makes them feel uncomfortable. I'm gonna tell you what, what makes me feel uncomfortable. It's the knuckles. Like, I don't even wanna get close. It's the knuckles and the claws for me. Say, <clears throat> y'all, what was that movie? What was, oh, that might have been Ghostbusters. I'm thinking, I'm tripping. Never mind. Never mind. Don't mind me. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> when, the, when the statues came off the building, the gargoyles, that's Ghostbusters, right? <laughs> Okay, so remember, th this even has that arrow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's pointing towards the, I don't know y'all, what would that be like the North Star, the Eastern Star? Yeah. Y'all, I ain't even gonna tell you that it just sounded like I heard somebody like knock from the inside in there. Hello? How crazy would it be if we really did hear some knocking from the inside? It sounded like something did, but I could have been just tripping. But that's wild. That is wild. Interesting guys. Yeah, I love these headstones. Look at the McCall family headstone. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, y'all, Stacy is a wonderful wife. I couldn't ask for anyone better. And a wonderful mother. Wonderful mother. Here we go. Look at this. Look at this. Ah, oh, man, the headstone fell over. I don't even know how you put that back together. I guess the tree might have knocked over all these headstones. Right, don't start kissing up now. <laughs> Y'all, I'm just trying to stay out of trouble, man. Y'all already done got me in trouble, man. As soon as I get to the hotel. No, I'm just playing. Stacy supports my dreams. She supports my dreams of being a ghost hunter. My email address, Dalen228, 228 at Yahoo. Dalen228 at Yahoo. That's where you can send me emails, Dalen228. Y'all, look at all of these beautiful, beautiful headstones. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. Look, 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 look. I wonder how many people are resting here. So, all right, we go to resting communities all the time. And theoretically, we assume that we're talking to spirits, right? We don't know, <laughs> but we assume because a lot of the responses we get, I don't know, I just, how else will we explain it? So if spirits are out and active in cemeteries, like how many spirits have you, like how many spirits do you feel like could just be hanging around here, man? Like I think it'd be amazing to be able to pull back that veil. 
Yes, Yahoo. Dalen228 is the Yahoo. It's Yahoo. It's the Yahoo. But I don't know. I just wonder, like, if you pull back that veil, like, what if there was, I don't know, like a thousand spirits over there? <laughs> like, what if a spirit is standing by each one of these stones? That would be wild. Thousands. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. But what's crazy is, one day, <laughs> we shall all know. <laughs> we shall all know. I don't know. But I'm going to be honest with y'all. And this is me just talking to y'all like family members. But to be completely honest, ever since we've been doing a graveyard shift, honestly, it's like I got way more questions. <laughs> like everything that I've been taught and even everything that I believe, like I don't know, like I just don't know how it works. So, okay, just in the Bible, the, the idea of the rapture, right? So would that mean that all these spirits are technically just in their grave waiting for judgment day? So are they here? And that's why we're talking to them. And that's why people are uncertain and unclear and stuck because they're waiting for judgment, the good and the bad. Or is there like a purgatory state somewhere? Or are they already in heaven and hell? <laughs> or <laughs> like, I don't know. Are they reincarnated to something else? Like, I don't know. I have a billion questions right now, guys. A billion. And I feel like every time we start trying to ask those questions in our graveyard shift series, we don't get any like solid answers. It's kind of like it's none of your business. Nah, we 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 in and out. We in and out, Diane. We in and out. We just here for the for the bull riding. For the bull riding. Uh oh. This is the Brew family. Y'all, I ain't finna look in there. Y'all tell me what y'all see. Can y'all see something in there? Oh, it's too dark. Hey, I don't know. I wasn't finna look. I wasn't finna look, guys. That's just the thing about, like, doing paranormal investigating for TV. <laughs> they put you in, like, the most darkest situation, and all you can think about is every horror movie that you've ever seen in life. So all I could think... Now, y'all... I am not trying to be disrespectful. God, I am not trying to be disrespectful. Y'all, but this headstone, it, it kind of scared me a little bit. Look at this. Look at this headstone. Y'all, that is a child. I've never seen a headstone. Y'all, what do y'all think of this? Have y'all ever seen a headstone of a child? That, I saw that. <laughs> like when I was walking around the corner just now and that's what kind of like freaked me out a little bit Man Y'all stop being mean in the comments stop saying that's creepy You don't want nobody calling y'all y'all creepy 
That's wild. I don't know about that one, family. And then the heads that came off the, this one over here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, I hope you're resting well, little one. I hope you're resting well. I don't know. I can't see the date on it. Somebody asked how old is this? I don't know. I can't see any of the dates. Wow. Let's walk around here. It feels so good out here. It's like the breeze. Is just... Don't worry. <clears throat> As we get into fall in Georgia, I'm going to do way more graveyard shit videos. I just, it be hot, y'all. I ain't trying to be funny. It be hot. <laughs> it is hot. <laughs> When it start getting fall, I'm gonna start chilling. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start being out way longer, doing way more shifts. But y'all, it just be hot in Georgia. I'm talking about like ungodly heat. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know you know you, you know hot if you in Texas. For sure. For sure. Woo! 104 in Houston. Yep. I wouldn't be doing graveyard shifts until the nighttime. But then again, <laughs> y'all know nighttime don't. Say, babe, let me be honest with y'all. When me and Mark shot that uh, episode in the graveyard at night, I know we got up, got up out of there kind of fast. But it was just so, so dark. Like, you couldn't really even... It was just too much, y'all. And it was a totally different vibe at night. Maybe I should have started going to cemeteries at night at cemeteries that we're comfortable with. Like, we've been, we know the layout, we know the residents. We was all out at a, on a plantation cemetery tripping. Like, man, nah. Yeah, it was just too unfamiliar for us. This is the Farrell family. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look at these. I don't know, y'all. Oh, oh, that sucks. No. 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 Dang, I wonder how it fell. I mean, shoot, that thing been up there since 1898. I guess it just worn tour, huh? Oh, man. Like, I wonder what does it take? I mean, I'm in Nashville. This is Mount Olivier Cemetery. Her arm done broke off. Dang. Golly, y'all. Uh, I hate that. But unfortunately, I am not He-Man. I can't pick it up by myself, y'all. I know, I listen, I know y'all like to think I can do it all. And I appreciate y'all for the confidence. But I ain't worked out in a minute, y'all. I'm gonna need some help to pick that thing up. But y'all are funny. Y'all are funny. How many comments I got the other day? <laughs> Daylin, you should walk, 
You should bring a lawnmower and a weed racker when you go out. So you want me to carry a lawnmower and a weed whacker and a spirit box and an iPad and a chair and a camera? Okay. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Y'all, where can I get a portable weed whacker from? <laughs> Where can I get a, a battery operated handheld weed whacker from, guys? Because apparently I'm not doing enough out here. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not doing enough out here. <laughs> I need to start a lawn care service. <laughs> no, it ain't no, it ain't no, y'all, I don't think y'all understand how many people. It'd be different if one person said it. Y'all, there was a group of people. <laughs> Separately, <laughs> that told me I should be I should walk around with a weed whacker or weed whacker. <laughs> I was like, man, listen, man, y'all funny to me. Y'all are funny to me. These are beautiful. It's like there's so many angels out here. That's what's kind of cool. I don't know. Maybe that's what makes it peaceful. Like every every tomb has like a watchful angel like look at this one sure mr sherlock he was two years old matt jr sherlock somebody said they just saw an orb mm -hmm. Somebody said, I'm not being paid to weed whack. Hey, man, you know, guys. <laughs> if it was easy, I get it. I would. But it ain't easy. I, I'm sure. I'm sure it's not easy to be walking around with a weed whacker. <laughs> this is beautiful. I wonder why they don't make headstones and stuff like this anymore, y'all. We don't see none of this stuff in newer, newer days. Why do y'all think that it... Somebody said go touch it. Barb, you go touch it, Barb. Barb, let me tell you why. You sound like my grandmama, Barbara, who made me touch that dead body back in the day. <laughs> What's up with y'all Bob? Y'all Barbs, Barbara? I always trying to make somebody touch something. Y'all. Okay, y'all are saying it costs too much nowadays so you feel like all these people back in the day in the 1800s had money for it, stuff like that like y'all feel like it cost that much back then like relative look y'all y'all i say we bring back big headstones i say us shifters we start a business together it's not a Ponzi scheme, but y'all just put up all the money. And what we gonna do is buy all the supplies <laughs> and we gonna make custom headstones. You put your five in and get your 10 back, y'all. <laughs> it's not a scheme, I promise. <laughs> no, I'm just playing, y'all. Oh, wow. Betsy, you said your family headstone was $40,000? Sheesh. Betsy, the graveyard shifters could have did it for you for 35. All out the door. 35 out the door. We got it. We got labor on deck. Because ain't no way you should have paid 40 for it, Betsy. We would have got you for the 35. This is beautiful. Somebody said their son's little little stone was sixteen hundred dollars. Oh wow! So these things probably cost. Shoot, shoot. That thing might cost a cost a Tesla. Oh wow! This is beautiful. Ed and Katie. Like, 
how much does this cost to get sculpted? Like, that is so cool to me. Like, this seems like stuff that you would see in museums. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna, uh, we should do some research on that, y'all. I don't know. I'm just curious how much all these things cost. Like, this is dope. No, I'm not gonna touch anything, y'all, for sure. But no, y'all, we're not doing uh, spirit box sessions this weekend, only because I'm out of town, y'all. Now, okay, all right, look. Hey, look, I brought my equipment to Tennessee because I don't go nowhere without it. Now, I said I was gonna come out here tomorrow morning now, I will bring my spirit box and we can do some sessions tomorrow morning if y'all want to. I'm just not going to edit them. It ain't going to be none of that. Y'all just going to have to listen in real time. We're going to have to figure it out in real time. Now, if y'all want me to, I will bring my spirit box out here tomorrow for tomorrow's video. But I'm going to shoot that probably tomorrow morning. So if y'all want me to, I'll bring the box. But I'm not going to edit the words. Oh, wow. This is a cool one. I'm not going to edit the words, y'all. This is going to be us listening. Oh, y'all, man, y'all be trying to put my hands together, man. Put my hands together. <laughs> Talking about some what time. I can't commit to a, a, a time. Because <laughs> I'm on a group trip, man. I don't know, you know, Stacey, I done, I done used the lobby excuse one time, y'all. I can't use it twice. <laughs> Do y'all have any other excuses that I can use <laughs> to get up out the hotel room? <laughs> I need y'all to be complicit. If Stacy call y'all, just say I'm in the bathroom, y'all. <laughs> y'all, I spend time with Stacy all the time, y'all. I just be playing, y'all. Stacy be glad when I be leaving. We both, we live together, we work together, and we both work from home. <laughs> so trust me, Stacy be ready for me to get up out her face <laughs> just as much as y'all be wanting to see these videos. Look at this one, y'all. Oh, wow. Somebody gonna say, Stacy, what time can he come outside tomorrow and play? <laughs> Mama Stacy, what time can I come outside tomorrow and play? Can I play with my friends outside tomorrow? <laughs> this is James and Mary Costello. Oh, y'all want me to use the I gotta go buy some cigarettes excuse? <laughs> uh, hey, y'all, I would bring my friends out here. <laughs> I don't think they would come though. <laughs> All of my friends that are out here have absolutely nothing to do with the paranormal. <laughs> like, nothing. <laughs> absolutely nothing. If they came out here, they would be freaked out. They will be freaked out totally if they came out here. Look at that. Nah, this is in Nashville. I don't know, man. Everybody keep asking me about cremation. And I look, y'all. I don't know how that works, but I'm down to find out. I just gotta find. Okay, y'all keep asking me about cremations and animal uh, pet cemeteries. So I just got to figure that out. I got to find a pet cemetery, but I just don't know what... Okay, what are we expecting to happen at a pet cemetery? Are we thinking that the animals is going to talk? Are we thinking that maybe the spirits of the owners are there with their animals? And then maybe they may talk? I just got to know what what mindset are we going into that with? And then with cremation, I got to find a crematory. I got to find a, a place where they do it at. Right? 
do I find a place where they do it at? Or do I find somebody who's been cremated? Do I find somebody who has somebody who's been cremated and ask them, can I borrow they, can I borrow they, they relative? Like, how does that work? What do I, how do I, how do y'all suggest I go about doing a spirit box session with, with someone who's cremated? How do you do that? And then the pet cemetery. We got to figure those two out. Find someone who I know has kept the loved one around. I don't know. Nobody in my family has been cremated. So I don't know. You know, I was I just met a lady, I'm, as I'm thinking, a couple days ago. She she wore she wears her husband on her neck. And she was into the paranormal. So that would have been interesting. But yeah, I just didn't think about it. I don't know. We're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out. And I also was thinking, I also was thinking, so y'all know the way that I went to my grandmother's resting area, right? And did a spirit box session. A lot of y'all have been asking me to come talk to y'all's loved ones. And I don't want to, uh, I don't know. I don't want to be that guy that's like, oh yeah, I can come talk to your loved ones. Cause I don't know. But it would be really interesting to maybe link up with a couple of shifters and maybe go to their loved one's resting area with their permission and with them if they wanted to and just see if maybe they get some personal responses. Because I got some personal responses at my grandmother's resting area. I got some very personal ones, but I don't know. I, it would be interesting if maybe some of you shifters, you know what I'm saying, got some personal responses. I don't know. It would be kind of cool. So like if I did a pop up. So I was like, hey, y'all, I'm in Nashville. <laughs> Any shifters in Nashville that would like to try to do a session at one of their family spot, I can meet you. And then we just see. But if we're like minded people trying to get answers, we're not doing it. Like, I don't want somebody to. I don't know. I don't want nobody to feel like Dalen, come talk to my loved one. Like, I need you to come talk to my loved one. We are in a place of research. And someone that just feels comfortable with the idea of us trying to contact their loved one. You know what I mean? This is cool. She has her picture here. Miss Riley. Oh, Miss Riley, she passed away. She passed away last year. Love, 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 Miss Riley. Love. You know, we 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 pay our respects and keep it moving to the newly, the newly entered. We pay our respects and keep it moving. Oh, don't worry. We coming to New Orleans. Coming to New Orleans real soon. Yeah. So that's what we gonna do, y'all. I'm gonna start getting y'all involved way, way more. Because it'll be just cool for other people to get other experiences and us to, you know, Again, we're all just trying to figure it out. We're all just trying to figure it out. So when I, I don't, I don't have answers, y'all. I don't want anybody out there to think that just because I'm doing this, that I have the answers. I don't know nothing more than y'all. <laughs> I am just actively trying to figure this out, and we're figuring it out together as one big family and that's what i appreciate about it appreciate about our group we're literally all just trying to figure it all out together you said your dad and your cat are in florida yeah 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 so those are the type of things that we're going to be getting ready to start doing on the channel y'all because I, I, at this point, I feel like we have shifters pretty much probably either near or in every large city. 
enough to where if we did a call of action, maybe one or two shifters would respond to want to do a, a shift. For sure. Yeah. But look at how many people are just resting here. And then you see the stones start getting smaller and smaller as you start going over here. I want to say over here might be the section that was designated for uh, the less fortunate. So you see over there, look how, it, look how everything shifts. You see all the tall stones. All the tall stones. And then they start getting scarce, smaller, smaller, smaller. So you just have this field that looks empty, but it's not. It's just everyone couldn't afford headstones. Look. Look at this. Yeah, I think that's what they call it, a potter's field. But that's exactly what this is. You see the drastic change in headstones. Thank you. Oh, yo, I thought a snake had me. My foot got caught up in that. That's a weed whacker. Oh, maybe somebody did bring a weed whacker out to the cemetery. <laughs> it ain't as crazy of an idea as I thought it was. But yeah, y'all, look at this field. Look at the headstones in this field compared to where we just came from. There's so many people resting here, but there are very, very, very few headstones. You said you want to be cremated. Stacy said she want to be cremated too. I, I don't want to be cremated, y'all. I ain't trying to. <laughs> hey, man. I ain't trying to play around with no fire <laughs> when I'm up out of here, man. <laughs> Hell no, man. I don't want to see no fire when I'm when I'm gone. <laughs> Not me. Not me. Bury me and plant me with a uh, with an oak tree seed. Let me let me let me nourish a tree. <laughs> you said you want to put your ashes in a necklace. Hey man, I feel you. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. This is a beautiful headstone. The Serto family headstone. But yeah, y'all, I just always felt like when you die, the only fire you're supposed to see, man, if it, is if you going to hell. And I ain't trying to y'all bury me and my soul wake up <laughs> and it's fire everywhere. <laughs> hell no. Not me. Not I, said the cat. All right, y'all. Sun is starting to set. I gotta go get this uh uh this ice out the vending machine <laughs> for Stacy. And uh yeah guys, I had fun walking with y'all. Alright, look. <coughs> I think we have something to do at 12 tomorrow. How y'all feel? Woo, it's gonna be early, y'all. I'm talking nine. Nine central time tomorrow morning. Maybe coming out here and doing a spirit box session. It's gonna be tomorrow morning. It's gonna be the morning, y'all. It's gonna be like nine. So that's like 10 a.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Central. It's gonna be in that in that area. <laughs> I'm gonna hop on. I'm gonna bring my spirit box. And we're gonna do some shifting. Yeah. And some man, and just some. We'll probably come back here again, y'all, just because this is just it's acres and acres and acres and acres of land. 
and we'll go to a couple of spots in the morning. So if y'all with me, make sure y'all hit that notification bell so y'all know when we clocking on in the morning. And yeah, man, we gonna get to it, y'all. What y'all think? Yeah, it's gonna be a morning, the morning crew. <laughs> this the early shift, the early shift. But the video will be saved to the page. You can always replay it, y'all. So don't worry if you're not an early riser. We don't judge. Can I be honest with y'all? <laughs> I don't walked around this cemetery, y'all. I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> no, Dina, don't say bye. You gonna stay out here till I get out this cemetery. <laughs> Y'all can't leave until I get out this cemetery. <laughs> uh uh. Uh uh. Y'all got to help me navigate. Y'all, what if what if it get dark out? <laughs> Y'all, what if the sun sets? <laughs> What if the sun sets and I can't get up out of it? You know it ain't no street lights. It ain't no street lights in cemeteries. Y'all, I took an Uber up here. And when I tell you my man did not want to pull up in this cemetery, he's like, man, I, I, I just can't let you out right here at the gate. Sir, <laughs> you are in a vehicle. <laughs> Whatever is out there is not going to get you, my man. Can you please drive me up this hill? Can you please? Ooh. And then it's a fork in the road. Do we go right or do we go left? What y'all think, y'all? Pick it, pick your ending. Right or left? Am I going right or left? Go left? Oh shoot, we got rights and lefts. <laughs> y'all ain't making it no better. <laughs> y'all ain't making it no better. Y'all say right, left, <laughs> y'all. Y'all, y'all ain't making it no better. How y'all gonna say right and left? Y'all might as well say reft. <laughs> Make a ref. What is a ref? It's a right and a left. Y'all. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I know where I'm going, guys. It might have been that left. It might have been that left. I might have should have busted that left, guys. Hold on now. Don't hang up on me now. Hey, I see people trying to get saying bye. Ain't no bye. <laughs> Ain't no bye. I need all eyes on deck. <laughs> I need all eyes on deck until I get to safety. Oh, look at this. Thank y'all. Thank you. I appreciate y'all donating while I'm lost in the cemetery. Look at that. Oh, wow. I hate seeing these headstones. Said boss man lost. Show sure him. Oh, let me stop. Let me stop. I'm wasting time. I'm over here getting caught up in the scenery, y'all. It's getting dark by the second. It's getting dark, y'all. Ooh, wee. Do any of these headstones look familiar? Do any of these headstones look familiar? No. It's, somebody said nope. <laughs> nope. No, okay, I think we're going the right way, guys. All right, y'all, I appreciate y'all, man. Hold on. I think this is the entrance. I appreciate y'all, man. See, y'all care. Y'all really do care. And that's why I don't mind clocking in with y'all. Y'all look how look how far this cemetery goes back. It goes way back over yonder way. Way back over yonder way.
All right, y'all. I see the street. I see the street off yonder distance. The streets off yonder way. We made it. Y'all, all right. Tomorrow morning, nine-ish, nine-ish is when we going to get back on, y'all. Love, love, love. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all.